Hey, what's up everybody? It's Zach from the Student Life Media Team. DSLR cameras are all the rage today. They're small, they're easy to use, and they produce great results. But if you haven't had much experience shooting on them, fear not. Here are a couple things that you should be aware of before you go out to shoot on something like this. The first thing you need to keep in mind is exposure. There are three components, aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. Aperture is how open or closed the iris of the lens is, which determines how much light is entering the lens. On a T3i, you control the iris by holding the AV button while clicking the wheel on top. The lower the f-stop number, the wider the iris is open, which means more light. A higher f-stop means closing down the iris, so there's less light. Please use this as your primary exposure setting, because that's what it's for. The 7D has easier access to the aperture control. Just click the thumb wheel. Shutter speed is how quickly the shutter opens and closes on an exposure. It's more of a photography element, but it does affect the fluidity of motion for video. A lower shutter means there's more motion blur, while a higher shutter makes for choppy and staccato motion. Control shutter speed with the click wheel on top by itself. A good rule of thumb is to keep the shutter speed at double the frame rate. ISO stands for International Standards of Organization, which is a pretty silly term and it's another word carried over from old film photography. Basically, it's how sensitive the camera is to light. You control ISO by tapping the ISO button on top. The higher the ISO, the higher the boost in light. In daytime and highly lit situations, you want to keep the ISO as low as possible because high ISOs have a lot of grain, which never looks good. Okay, cool. Having proper exposure is huge because nothing looks worse than having a shot that's either too overexposed or too underexposed. Now there's a couple more things you guys need to keep aware of and one of those is white balance. To set your white balance on a T3i, first you hit the Q button, then go down to the second menu item and hit enter. This is your white balance menu. The T3i uses presets that you can choose from depending on the type of lighting you have in the room, as well as an auto white balance feature. You should always try to lock down the white balance with one of these presets. Auto white balance can be good, but if there are varying light sources at your location, it's possible for the camera to adjust the color mid-shot, which will be bad. The 7D has one additional option, manual white balance. If you click the K option, you can dial in a custom white balance setting using the Kelvin scale. Low Kelvin scores are blue, and higher Kelvin scores are orange. Remember, the best editing is done in camera. The more you shoot, the more you'll become familiar with color temperatures of the different types of lights, and this will become easier for you. Finally, the last tip I have for you guys is audio. Audio always seems to be something that either people forget about or they consider an afterthought, but honestly, audio is 10 times more important than the video. I can watch a, a terrible looking video that has great sound any day, but the second a video has just poor sound, I don't care how much lens flare or shallow depth of field that it has, I'm already moving on to something else. To adjust the audio controls, go to the main menu, scroll over to video recording, and then down to the audio settings. The default setting is auto. Remember, DSLRs were never designed primarily as a video camera, so you need to be really careful here. The auto setting on the T3i and the 7D is not reliable, so don't use it. Instead, set it to manual and perform a mic check before shooting and scale down the audio gain until you hit that sweet spot of minus 12 decibels. Well, that's all I got for you, for now. If you haven't picked up on some of these things yet, don't worry, you'll, you'll learn them more as you shoot more and get more experience, trust me. Just make sure you're, you're conscious of these things when you're starting to set up on your next shoot. Awesome. Well, thanks for checking out this Media Team tutorial. I'm Zach Morrison. I'll catch you later.